All right, you see that? Wire. Groundhog Mine Gilman, Colorado. That is an arterial blood supply, and it's upside down. It would be this way, coming down. And these are the little blood vessels that angle off and, f and feed flesh. That's the main coming in. You can see there's little red bits here and there. And if they, they did extreme microscopy on there, they would see that there's still blood in there. Now, what happens is the, at the end it gets plugged up, and because of specific, specific gravity, certain metals, and, and just that heaviness of a metal will collect, and then there'll be another collection and another collection. I have one here somewhere. Somewhere, oh, here it is, that is, it's uh, not, not gold, but it's, it's some form of metal. And uh, this is a toe, and that is where the blood um, leaked out of there, and then the metals started to accumulate here based on their specific gravity. And you can see they're all the same sort of metals, and that's all the same sort of metals. Now, I'm going to show you how I can prove this, and I'm going to show you where we can find huge quantities of gold. Okay, this goes back a year and a half or so, and I followed this carefully. Now, this was, um, uh, I think it's called a Beta Hunt Mine in Australia, and they were about to close it up. And then they dug 1,600 feet straight down, and then they hit this. Miners in Western Australia say they have discovered two huge golden encrusted rocks that are each estimated to be worth millions of dollars. Uh, the largest specimen weighed 95, 210 pounds. <laughs> now, and that's what it is, is that gold will come to the lowest point. So when they find them up above, they find little bits and scraps of gold up above, it's likely that foot is way deep in the ground because it was trying to push itself out of the mud. These things were gigantic, and there was a terrible flood at one time which drowned them, and they mostly drowned standing up in the salt water flood so the bodies were basically preserved into what we see as rocks and dirt and stuff like that but way down in the ground is where all the metals settled as they stood there and that's why we find these way low now, i'm going to show you the anatomy and i'm just going to show you before we go there the blood collects these this is these kind of fossils i work with and they're soft tissue fossils that was in a mud flat gary evans found that in england a salt water mud flat and they're just loaded with blood i have them here that were saturated with blood blood dripping out of them that's a lung and um and, and this is what happens when the blood runs through a body it's through one little pore in that body and usually it's going to be the foot if the guy drowns standing up because there's no cuts in him there's nothing the blood is going to run out in its lowest and it's it's aqueous eventually it'll break through and it'll it, the, it'll flow out the bottom and the blood will collect in the bottom uh, the, the heavy metals will collect at the bottom you know, that's just the way it works you know specific gravity heavier and and gold is the same weight gold is gold and so it's going to go to the same place silver is silver is going to go to the same place that's why they find these collections of metals here and there and they never could figure it out they said oh it must have been made in stars no they're not they're made in bodies and these bodies were gigantic i mean gigantic these are the size of these kind of feet they're just absolutely gigantic these are footprints in Nigeria. That guy stepped in a pile of poop, I think. Or this was all some little bit of mud or something. There's, there's several footprints here. I mean, that one looks like he stepped in some pile of poop. But look at the size of that thing. That's, uh, this is a town over here. <laughs> what can I say? And this is the, uh, this is where it is if you want to find it. That's the spot. Anyway. All right, what happens is in this mud, um, the giant, giant flood, the great flood, they would have been in the water for a long period of time, would have been salt water, and they are extremely large, extremely heavy creatures. They would have pushed their way into the mud, probably trying to get out. One would be lower than the other foot, that type of thing. Now, what happens is all of the heavy metals will run down. That's specific gravity. <laughs> Just can't, nothing you can do about it. And they will collect in literally like layers. 
Now, they may run here and there'll be a little dribble of them coming down this way. So you may find it here and coming down, but they will stay within their blood vessels. So there's going to be little bits and pieces up here. Let's say the, the, the surface of the earth is here and the guy's foot is deep in the mud. And that's what happened out at their beta hunt. 1600 feet up here they were digging around and getting gold and they're washing it out and getting all kind of gold up here well it started to play out they kept going down finding more and then it would play out because you're down in this well as soon as you get down in this that's where the gold is i even i think i have a foot hold on i think i even have a leg <laughs> that is gold now but here's the key if the guy died standing like this he's going to have a toe then let's say that toe is down. It's going to be the lowest toe. That toe is going to fill with gold, just like this one did, because it was the lowest toe. Now, if if it was up like this, the heel is going to fill up. If he was laying over and everything ran down this way, and then you know it would be dispersed. There's all kinds of ways it can happen. But take it an exact flat spot like this. The gold is going to collect down here, or at least. It'll, wherever it starts to run into here because it will eventually plug itself up. It's a little thicker than than the watery blood. And then you're going to get a glob of whatever that type of material is, is at that specific density. <laughs> there it is. It's a gold foot. This would have been like this way and <clears throat> down. And these are the toes and the heel part picked up most of the gold. It's, I can't, I, you know, this is what it is. It's just, it's just the way it works. Now, sometimes they will run out of the body and there'll be all little bits and pieces or the body was all broken up because of some other thing that broke up these things into little bits and pieces. And that's what they're finding in these gold pans. Like that would have been washed down and rocks rumbling and scrubbing against it and broken up into bits and pieces. But if you can find where the feet are, and dig down to the bottom of the foot, this is what you're going to find. So, something similar to that. If it was standing up, there's just no other way it's going to happen. You see that? <laughs> that's a gold lung, and that's the fascia coating of the lung. The same thing that I have right here, identical. And the same red blood down at the bottom, only this, you know, you, you could see the fascia, and I hope you can. Uh, and that's what that is. All blood, all, all metals are from biological creatures. They're not made in stars that exploded. They're just wrong about everything. They've guessed at all of these things. They say, well, where are these metals come from? Well, they're in our bodies. And they collect in our bodies. And that's what they have always been in our bodies. And they're in the soils and the dirts and all that stuff. And then when there was giants, they died and all that stuff ran down into the lowest part. Now, that guy died laying down and all the blood that was the lowest part in his body was right there that's what happens it's the lowest part now i'll show you a fingertip which happened to be the lowest part all right that's a gold fingertip i have one here not gold but it's the same thing it's a fingertip all right and any anatomist can tell this and they can see the blood vessel sticking out the side this one was blistered off you can even see the little pads on the bottom that you have the bone pads that you have on your bone too and that one there just happened to be the lowest point and gold collected in there see blood will run out of just like I showed you on the big toe here how the blood ran out there there's going to be one serious spot where blood runs out and the same thing here one serious spot where the blood ran out and this one here just happened to crystallize all right now uh, I mean, I have so much evidence about this. Let me show you another finger. You see that? <laughs> I have a logo that I use with blood in a fingertip, and I'll show you a second. That, you can even see, there's little red spots. You see the little red and the bone still left into it? All right, that's, that's where all the blood ran. These are the holes where the blood was. Now, um, and that's exactly what happens at the end of your fingertip. It's flush with blood. I'll show you. And it, remember, these, these little... That glob and that glob. I'll show you in a second. Okay, the way this works is there's an artery brings all the blood in, and then the vein sucks it all back. And this is the, these share this vein, and they they share this artery. Same thing here. So the artery comes up, and it comes back the vein. So we're going to see those two big lumps 
at the artery side, I'm almost certain, and the vein side will just have the little holes. I believe that's the way we're seeing that because it's being supplied by the artery and it's being pulled back by the vein. I would assume that the artery would be the place where these two blobs would collect. All right, and you can see it again here. See, it all feeds together, but this service is two fingers. This service is two fingers. So one of them is a feed and one of them is a return. Okay, my friends, new world we live in right now. Gold is um, body parts. And so is everything else. All right, so stay tuned because this is the only place on the planet right now where you can find anything that resembles truth.